Okay, for this problem, we have everything inside here is being raised to a power of one fourth. Now, I'm going to do this a little bit differently than what's in the written notes, so that way you have two different ways of doing that. In the written notes, I have the one fourth, I applied rule number five, brought the one fourth down in front, and then separated it. I'm going to do this one a little bit differently. Now, in both cases, either way you want to do this, the first thing you want to do is factor the top. If there, for all these problems, if there's anything that, you, that looks like it can be factored, you do want to do that first because you might cancel something out of the bottom, might make the problem easier. So first we're going to do that. So I'm going to do ln natural log. I'm going to factor the top and see if I can cancel anything else out from the bottom. This is still all being raised to the one fourth power. I have x's here for each one of those. Uh, it has to add up to a negative 5, so I'm going to do negative 2 and negative 3. That multiplies to make positive 6, but adds to be negative 5. Now that I have this, this is where it's going to be a little bit different from the written notes. Instead of bringing the 1 fourth down, I'm actually going to raise everything inside to the power of 1 fourth. So that's going to look like this. I have ln and everything inside, x minus 2 to the 1 fourth. I have x minus 3 to the 1 fourth. Now on the bottom, I have a, a cube and I'm raising that to one fourth power. So one of our exponent rules says that when you have a power raised to another power, you have to multiply the exponents. So I've got to take 3 over 1 and multiply it by one fourth. That's going to give me 3 fourths. So on the bottom, I'm going to have x plus 2 to the 3 fourths power. x plus 2, 3 fourths. So now I have that on the bottom. I don't need the brackets anymore because I've already distributed the one fourth uh, for top and bottom. Now that I have everything all distributed, I'm ready now to break it apart by using uh, log properties. So I have a division problem first. So first I'm going to start by uh, separating the division. So I have the 1 fourth and then x minus 3 to the 1 fourth here. I have that first part minus because we're using rule number 7 ln x plus 2 to the 3 fourths. But I still have this. This is still being multiplied together. I can do one more step. I want to break that apart by using rule number six. Multiplication turns into addition. So I have ln x minus two to the one fourth plus ln x minus three to the one fourth and then minus ln x plus two three fourths. Okay, so now I have it broken up down to here. The last thing is I want to express powers as factors again. So I want to bring all the powers down in front. So we would have 1 fourth ln x minus 2, 1 fourth ln x minus 3, and then minus 3 fourths ln x plus 2. Uh, if you're wondering if you can factor it, yeah, you can factor it. Um, it's not necessary. It depends on what, uh, what the, uh, your teacher might be asking, but in this case, this is, this is fine. You could, you could factor out a 1 fourth if you wanted to. That would get the same answer that we had in the notes but this is also an acceptable answer.